Hi everyone, I'm Mike Levin of Levinix, and today I'll be helping you scratch the surface of web development with a Hello World in Python for the web browser. I'm here in Linux Mint version 14, 64-bit, but you could just as easily be in any host operating system. I go into a terminal and I SSH to TC at localhost port 2222, password is foo, and I ls, and you'll see the pydocs directory is there, which is because I already chose option 4 to build Levinix into a Python server. And as you'll recall, we have a website hosted on port 8080, with the files being served out of that htdocs directory. And I will run Firefox, and jump to that location and there's our documentation of our first few tutorials. Now this other directory is going to have a website running on port 8888 but if I try and get there it's just not going to do it because we don't have a web server uh, running there. It's actually reaching the server but there's no services running there. If I tried some other crazy port, you would get a, an error message, so don't be surprised at the behavior. Um, so how do we get the web server running there? We cd into pydocs. We do an ls. You'll see three files there. We've got bottle.py. That's a web micro framework. Now, most people who do web development work use the LAMP stack. That stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and one of the P programming languages. That's uh, PHP, Python, Perl, or the honorary P language, Ruby. Because of the short stack philosophy of Linux, we're not going to load all that software up. And fortunately, Python has a web server built in, and it takes you about 80% of the way towards being a web development platform on its own. And things like bottle.py take you the last 20% of the way there. They provide a few more functions and uh, make things a bit easier. So this uh, fav icon is just the icon that the website gets in the browser. And this is our Hello World program. So if we uh, vim webapp.py you'll see the already written Hello World program. This line at the top imports route, run, and static underscore file functions from bottle.py, making them available. They're not normally available in Python. This makes it available because bottle.py is sitting in the same directory, and Python knows to look inside of it for these other functions. So what are those other functions? Well, one of them is run. Python's going to scan through this file, top to bottom, do the import, see these two functions here, and is then going to run this command, which runs the web server. And any request coming in is going to get routed to uh, either of these two functions. Almost every request is going to go to this top function and return hello world, and then requests that match favicon.ico will be routed here and serve up the icon. That lays out the general system of how bottle.py and a few other web frameworks under Python work. Flask.py is another one that works almost exactly the same way. And although it's not the same kind of development work as a LAMP stack, it actually lets you work more purely in Python and lets you focus at the job at hand rather than understanding all the moving parts of the LAMP stack. So it's a pretty good way to work. So let's get that web server running. sudo python webapp.py. We run it. And now when we try and visit port 8888, there's our hello world. And every time we do a refresh, we see output there, which is great. 
Uh, it's very different from the way Apache runs invisibly in the backgrounds, but it lets you do debugging output. You can see anything you want to see when requests are being made of your uh, web server, and it's a very nice way to work, and particularly suitable for the short stack. And so let's do some sort of edit. I'll control C out. I will vim back into web app. I'll arrow key down to the exclamation point. I hit I for insert mode for vim, space, type again, hit the escape key, colon, W to write, Q to quit. Up arrow back to my command to run the web server. And we do a refresh. Hello world again. It's really nothing fancy, but like I said, I'm just scratching the surface, providing an introduction here. So now you have the ability to write Python and have it accessible from a web browser. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you again soon.